Hi guys and thank you for joining us on today's video. Uh, on today's video we're going to show you how to clone this key uh, for this 2011 uh, Ford KA. So it's a 2011 Ford KA uh, on the Fiat immobilizer system. So it uses the immobilizer system from the Fiat. So we're going to copy the uh, information from the, this customer's key onto a new uh, spare key. So I'm back in the warmth of the training room. It's horrible weather outside. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just show you uh, both the Handy Baby 1 and the Handy Baby 2. At the moment, they're pretty much doing the same uh, same job. Handy Baby 2 is upgradable. There's new transponders that are currently out that Handy Baby can do, uh, Handy Baby 2 can do that this one can't. So if you've got the option of buying either or, this one is cheaper, you might still just see this for sale, but they don't cover the same, they're almost the same, but there's a couple of new transponders um, that are on this one that you can clone that this one can't. And because this one's updatable, as more and more transponders come out and the mobilized systems uh, advance, this will continue to move forward with you where this is not updatable anymore, it's discontinued. So uh, always buy Handy Baby 2. Uh, we do sell that in our shop if you follow the links below the video. Um, so, you know, as we've got outside, we've got that um, Ford KA using the Fiat Immobilized system. So this will be the same if you did a Ford KA, a Fiat 500, a Fiat Punto, Iveco, Euro, uh, Iveco Daily or Euro Cargo or anything really uh, using the ID46 transponder. Um, the key is a pre-coded key, uh, if you don't know what that is or how to work with pre-coded, uh, we cover that on our training courses. Uh, but in this video I'm just going to show you how to clone the information from the customer's working key to this key. Um, this is a new key that we've uh, cut for the customer uh, using the Silke uh, Futura uh, key cut machine. I'll make some more videos on this key cut machine in, uh, in the future. So the key is cut ready, all I need to do is read the information from this key and uh, write it onto this key. For this example I will use the Handy Baby 1. So just pop the key in there. Let's get a resolution to uh, zoom and focus. Right, so pop the key in there and press this uh, OK button to read and decode. It says please wait, don't move the key. So as you can see, it's ID uh, 46, type 46 transponder, uh, and we're going to press OK to decode the key. So you press the OK button, and that starts the decode. Um, so to do this, we need to, uh, what's called, sniff data from the uh, vehicle. So we need to now go out to the vehicle. When you see the screen, it means you need to collect data from the vehicle. Um, the Handy Baby has this uh, little aerial. Yeah, some people online have been saying Handy Baby 2 doesn't have the aerial, it's just built into here, that's why it doesn't look like it's got one, but it has, it's just built into here. Uh, so that's the same on both. Um, but this aerial here, you can see the little Wi Fi symbol, um, that's basically going to go next to the uh, trans transponder ring coil, next to the ignition, and re retrieve data from the vehicle when we switch the ignition on. So we're going to go out to the vehicle now uh, with the key, uh, with the original key, this one, and uh, turn the ignition on, and that's going to retrieve data from the immobilized system. So I'm just going to pause the video and continue when we're there. So I've got the uh, coil, uh, the ignition coil is around the ignition barrel here, so I've got this uh, sniffer in, in the area. So I'm going to press the OK for the uh, Handy Baby to collect the data. Press the OK button. So it says collecting. So it's waiting for me to put the ignition on. It says, please uh, put the uh, collect antenna, which is the bit with the Wi-Fi symbol on, uh, next to the car's circle. The circle being the uh, transponder, uh, transponder coil. Um, Insert the key and turn and turn ignition on and twist. So that's what it says on the screen if you can't see it too well. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pop the key in the ignition while keeping 
the sniffer in the area. So the key is in the ignition. And as you can see, this, you can see everything now. As soon as I turn this ignition on, it's going to then uh, collect data from the immobilizer. You've got to keep that sniffer in place. That's it. So it's an instant. As soon as I turn that ignition on, it says success on the screen and it's got the data it needs. So what I'm just going to do is just bring this so you can see it. So it says, success, put the key into the coil to decode. So what that means, I've got to put the, take the key out of the ignition and put the key in this, uh, in this coil here. And that's going to decode the key, uh, which is the second to last step before it makes a new key. So I'm going to do is go back into the workshop and uh, start decoding. Right, so we are back in the workshop now, um, in the training room, and we've got the screen up and it says press OK to decode. So what you need to do is you need to now put the original uh, original key, not the not the new transponder yet, but the original key into the coil. If you don't do that and press OK and then it will start doing the decode and it won't find the key. So it says put the key into the coil to decode, it means the original key. The one you're cloning from uh, to finish the cloning procedure. So get that in there, make sure the transponder is going to get red. Press OK to decode. So it says do not move key, and that's got to basically go up to 100%. So it's starting to decode the information from the key. So there we go, that's really quick. Uh, it does usually get to around about 4% and then jumps up to 100%. Uh, so it says success. Uh, put in CJMD6, which is the JMD ID46. Uh, transponder and uh, press OK to copy. So I'm going to take this key out uh, and we're not going to use the uh, CGMD6 chip instead we're going to use the SGMD which is the super chip from uh, from GMD. So what I usually do is some people hold the chip like this uh, but your fingers can sometimes block the signal. So the case it comes in uh, it's a bit hard to do one handed but the case it comes in I just slide that back into the case um, like that and then pop the uh, the plastic area plastic plastic bit in stood up so it's going to get a good if you've not got your fingers blocking the signal as such um, so next step is press OK to copy so we're going to press OK so it's copying that transponder can be either in the key or just out on its own like this Success, copy next key. So if I wanted to do another key, I could take this one out. Uh, I could get another chip, uh, one of these, pop that in there again, and program a new one. Uh, but we only want one for the customer. So that's all finished. Uh, press back to go back, so we don't want to copy another key. And can switch hand the baby off now, because that's all done. So last bit you got to do is you got to get the transponder that we've just made. I'll just keep this as the carry case for the next next time I need to use it. Pop this into here. And then pop the uh, transponder back into the key. So I'm just going to uh, see if I can do it without poison the video. After uh, pause the video to get that in there. Right, so I just uh, pop that in there, slide it in all the way. So that's in there now. If you ever want to get these out, there's a little pinhole there. You can put a little uh, uh, small screwdriver or a little uh, something to poke poke down there, and it pushes this bit out, so you can get this back out. Uh, so that's all slotted in, ready. Uh, we've got our original key as well, so now we'll just go and test and make sure both of them start the vehicle. So we've got both keys in the car now, so we're going to test the uh, customer's original key first and make sure that starts up. 
So I'll put that in the ignition. So, yep, yeah, that's all started up. As you can see the revs. So that's all running. This is customer's original. So I'm going to switch that one off. Get the new key and put that into the ignition. And turn the ignition on. And start it. So that's all up and running. So yeah, that's all started up and running. Uh, both keys are working. So it's really handy um, to be able to use uh, Handy Baby to clone your customer's key. Uh, when they've got a key like this and they just want a spare key, uh, it's really handy for that. If you wanted to program another one of these uh, remote keys in, uh, then you could have to do that through the OBD. Uh, so using the OBD port on the car, plugging into the car um, and doing it that way. But if your customer's got a key, it's a quick and handy way in doing it. You're not having to need any pin codes for the immobiliser. Um, you don't really need any lock picking skills or anything like that because you're putting the key into the, uh, the customer's original key into the uh, key cutter machine and measuring the cuts from that key and cutting the new key. So the whole job, um, if we wasn't recording, is, is sort of including the cut and the key, a 10 minute job, um, maybe 15 minutes maximum, um, and you can make good money at it. So if you want to see more videos, uh, if there's anything that we'd, we're not covering that you want to see, um, like lock picking or um, key cutting or uh, OBD programming, EPROMing, immobilizer, delete, bypass, all that sort of stuff, uh, just leave a comment, uh, leave a message in the comments below. If you want to see our training courses uh, where we teach you to use uh, all this sort of stuff and more advanced stuff, uh, programming in, lock picking, key cutting and all that, check out the links below the video. Thanks for watching.